everybody, welcome to this unique episode. I wasn't planning on re releasing a video this week, but in light of what has come out in the news the last few days, I felt it was only fitting that we, not memorialised, but we, well, I personally would like to discuss the terrific actor Chadwick Boseman, who unfortunately passed away. At the age of only f at the age of only forty three, it's, it's a absolute fucking crime that he passed away so young. And the fact I didn't even know that, well, me, um, the whole world didn't know that. The last four years, he's been making movies and performing in these amazing blockbusters, while also ill, receiving treatment, having surgeries, and unfortunately, it's a uh, Reached him, reached, reached him in the end, unfortunately. But you can't say that he didn't fight until the absolute end. But unfortunately, as sometimes, you just can't win. But on a better note, I want to discuss some of the movies that I felt he... Well, no, he, they made... They gave him the opportunity to p perform and show his acting chops so well. As it were, in fact, I was watching. Um, if you've ever seen the series Lie to Me, starring Tim Roth, it came out about 10 years ago, ran three seasons, and he popped up in that in season two. I think it was like 2007, 2008, did, and that season came out. And he just looked so young, and I was like, oh, bloody hell, I'm watching it. I'm watching him in an episode the day that the whole world found out that he'd unfortunately passed away. And it's, yeah, it was a bit strange, really. Um, yeah, it's quite odd, and I felt that you know I didn't. Unfortunately, I didn't know about him acting wise until he was in Black Panther. I never heard of him, but then when I saw him in uh, Civil War, he popped up, and I was like, "Oh yeah, that's Black. Oh, yeah. oh he's playing Black Panther. I read about him." And since then, I've been quite been been quite a fan. Uh, if you haven't seen a movie, well, his movie on Netflix. Me me uh, message from the king. I'll put the uh, poster in here somewhere. Um, I then went on to watch that after watching him in uh, C Civil War and, and a few, and I think it was in another Marvel film after that, I believe. I can't remember exactly. Watched him in that. Absolutely brilliant. And then I recently watched him in 21 Bridges, which is, I think it was his. Aside from Black Panther, his best action acting role. I'm going to talk about a few of his other films and well, I think they're significant. But I'll talk about talk about Twenty One Bridges. He plays a cop, and she's chasing two cop killers. And that's what his character is known for. And you follow him round, and all the f physical performing he did in that film, which was only a few years ago, and the fact that he was you know in between getting treatment and having surgeries, you wouldn't know it at all. It's a great performance. I want to say that also that his the movies that I personally didn't... I, I'm quite ashamed to say I haven't really thought much of or haven't wanted to watch because it's not really the kind of genre, as genre, as genre that I like. But he seemed to enjoy playing real-life African-American icons who made a difference in their field. or Well, fields. Like uh, Jackie Robertson in the movie F 42, the first African-American baseball player in their league. He also played Thurgood Marshall in the movie Marshall, the first African-American Supreme Court judge. And also played the music icon that that is James Brown in the movie Get On Up. Unfortunately, I haven't watched these, but I'm going to endeavour to try and watch them as soon as possible, just to enjoy the performance I know he gave in each of those roles and that he gave it absolutely everything. So I hope you you able to if you haven't watched them. If not, please let me know what they're like and I would definitely try and watch them as quickly as I possibly can. But I feel that so yes. Um yeah, don't say really. Um I feel that yeah, he's he's gonna be a loss. 
to the movie world. I thought, you know, Black Panther, he the, the first leading black actor to lead an all black cast. He kind of set the precedent for what you can do in the movie, movie industry at, with that film. And he's going to be missed, certainly, especially in the Marvel Universe, I know. I enjoy him as Black Panther. He's one of the best characters, one of my absolute favourites out of all of them, apart from Iron Man, unfortunately. But <laughs> but yeah, he's definitely going to be missed. And I just wanted to make this, make this little, little episode as I feel that other YouTubers probably will do it, but I, I'm i not doing it as a trend. I just felt that as a fan of his work, I just wanted to mention some of his other work. If you haven't seen it, so hopefully you'll go watch it and enjoy his other performances, as I certainly intend to. All right, guys, that is it. I hope you enjoyed this, as I said, very unique episode. And hope you rest in peace. Goodbye, everybody. Take care.